Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. As you know, I do a lot of paddleboarding and you can see my little logo that's actually on here. Yeah, so yeah, I've been paddleboarding for a few years now and I'm getting a lot older and I've got a bit of arthritis. So uh, what I thought I'd do, I'd look into something different to do with a paddleboard. And uh, my friends uh, from Boost Fin uh, have actually sent me a product to try out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this product out. Uh, so I've, bought, I've got the box here. I hasn't even opened it yet so it's all going to be nice and new for me yes yeah, so they've sent me this through the post to try out on my paddleboard so apparently it replaces this fin uh, it helps you go through the water so it's not only for paddleboarders it's actually for surfers as well so it fastens underneath uh, where your fin actually goes to the uh, paddleboard and it actually propels you through the water apparently it's got like a little watch as well uh, where it's fastened to which you can alter the speeds and everything so I haven't read the instructions, I haven't had it out of the box yet, so this is all going to be new. So yeah, you're here today watching me open this box. So yeah, let's make a start of it. But before you go, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well. And uh, check out the website as well when we've actually opened this. Right, so let's get the knife out and see what it's like. So come packaged really well, and it's really light as well. So, what we got then? So I have seen quite a few of the videos online as well. So they actually sell them, you know, to a lot of people all around the world. So yeah, there's a lot of videos actually in, uh, from America. Yeah, so this is how it comes. So yeah, electric surf fin. Yeah, so uh, enjoy longer sessions and catch more waves. So yes, for surfers and for paddle boarders. But uh, I will be doing a bit of surfing with my paddleboard as well, showing you as well. So yeah, it comes in a really nice box. So let's just check this out. Nice white box. Right, so there we go, there's the fin. So in the box, we've got some instructions there. And then you've got the fin look. So it's, uh, it's really lightweight, the fin is. So I'm really looking forward to getting this actually in the water. So yeah, that's the fin. Yeah, and it's really, really light. So I think they've sent the right attachment to actually uh, fit under my board. So yeah, it's going to fit straight under there. And you can just see that. You can see you've got like a little motor on the back there. Uh, apparently between, I think it was uh, 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes it'll actually last for. What else have we got in the box? So we've actually got uh, we've got the watch. So yeah, it's just like an iPhone watch, isn't it? Yeah. So that's gone there. So that's for the power. So I've got like a little button, faster and slower and stuff. But I need to read the instructions first to see what I've got to actually do with that. And then we've got we've got the power lead as well. So it's actually got different adapters as well. The power lead has. Let's just try and get it out. It's, it's packed really well. So yeah, it's got, um, it hasn't got English, but you can, it's got the, uh, like where you have for your toothbrushes and and your, uh, your shavers. So you just need an adapter for that. But yeah, there's the power. I say they've got that as well. I think that's American, isn't it? And then it comes with this little fancy screwdriver. So this screwdriver actually powers up the paddleboard, so I've actually seen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the instructions and then I'll uh, get back to you and we'll start it up, see what it's like, and we'll show you how you actually fix it to the board. Right, so let's just see actually how it does actually fit to the board. So I'll just move the box out of the way. So yeah, it's going to replace that fin there. So just turn this board over. So apparently it fits every type of board as well. So you can actually get the different connections for it to fit. So just undo the screw like you, or the little nut, like you normally do. Yeah, and also you've got uh, two little Allen keys here. So you just undo those with the uh, screwdriver type thing. You've actually been supplied. So there's actually two there holding it in. 
Let's bring the bring it a bit closer. So yeah, can you see there? Look, the two screws. Yeah, so just undo them. I think you might have to take it out all the way. Let's have a look. I will check later because you don't want to be losing these in the sand here. I'm not sure if there's any spare. No, you don't have to undo them all the way. So that comes straight off there. So as you do with your normal paddle board, where you've got the little square, so that just actually fits straight in there like that. Just move it across. And then you've got like the, you've got two different settings there for whatever depth you need it on your board. So yeah, that just fits, should just fit in there like so. And then we screw back in. Yep, screw straight back in. So you can adjust it wherever you like to position it. I'm just going to position it straight into the middle. So once that's fitted there, I'm not going to go too tight. Once that's fitted there, then we'll actually fit the fin onto the board, onto the board itself, onto there. Let's have a look. Right, so slot straight on, and then we're just going to screw it straight back on. So I'm not doing it tight because I'm not actually going to be going into the water. So I'm just putting it on for now, just to show you guys. Right, so I've just spun the board round because uh, we've actually got the on and off button here. So I'm not sure yet how it starts. So, oh, here we go. Yes, I've got the controller. So that's just, ah, oh, working already. So you can hear it just clicking in, can't you? Yeah, so you've got the different modes here for it to go faster and slower. That sounds fast, that does. I'm actually going to try it. We've actually got the uh, swim spa behind us and I'm actually going to take it in the swim spa and just give it a quick go to see how fast it actually does go. But yeah, you can see it uh, kicking in there, yeah. So this control actually, you have it on your wrist, which is good or waterproof as well. And just switch it straight off. But as you can see, it's, uh, you know, it's not big and bulky. Uh, you can tighten that up. I mean, I'm, I've only tightened it up a little bit. I'm not tightening it too much, but it will be nice and secure there once it's tightened up. And like I say, you can have it in any position you actually like. So there you go. That's the fitting of the uh, the boost fin. So yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? So hopefully this will be really good for me for getting out to sea. I mean, there's a lot of times when I'm actually going out to sea and I go right down to the coast with my paddleboard. And then when I can come back, the current actually changes. So I'm actually going really crazy trying to get back. This will help me a lot, this will do. So I'll be able to get back a lot quicker and I won't be so worn out as well. So with more of my aching joints than what I've got at the moment, this is going to help me a lot. So yeah, if you people out there, if you are struggling with your paddle boarding and you, you don't pack it in, you want to treat yourself to one of these. I say like go on the uh, Boost in the website and he tells you how much they actually are so there's a few different places actually sell them as well for boostfin so yeah check them out so boostfin.com have a look at their videos and see what they, what they can do for you so what we're going to do we're going to try it in the water and uh, see how much power that's actually in there right so what we're going to do now we're going to try the boostfin in the water so just to see how powerful it actually is i'll just make sure these screws are in a bit more because i don't want them to fall out i'll just put those in a little bit but yeah, just gonna demonstrate the power that actually does actually come from it. I might even get in the water yet. So yeah, it's switch it on. Goes for a sequence of noises. So you can see the green light flashing. So let's just give it a try. So you can hear it speeding up. Wow, and that is really fast. So yeah, oh, that is. I can, I can actually only just I can only just hold it in the water so yeah that's on that's the, the power on that the full is absolutely unbelievable 
so that'll definitely pull you right through the water so if you just wanted to go swimming with it it'd actually pull you through the water that will so yeah i think i might get in the water with it and uh, give it a try right so what we're going to do we're going to try the fin in the water so it's all set ready i've got the watch on as well yeah so let's get in and give it a whirl <laughs> lovely in here So yeah, so uh, so I've got the uh, like the watch on the controller. Yeah, so it's, it's giving it a whirl. Wow. Yeah, and it's pulled you. Right, see what happens. Oh wow, and it's just kicked in as well. So it's kicked in a faster speed as well there. So. I could only just hold it there. <laughs> so, I'm actually uh, 15 and a half stone, and it does actually do a brilliant job. So there you go then, that's the boost fit. Right, so we've tried it in the water, so uh, I'll just show you how you actually take it off the board as well before we go. So yeah, like you put it on, two screws there is, just to take out, so Allen key screws. So, it takes five minutes this does. Like I say, you don't have to screw them all the way out if you don't want to. You've got one there. I'll just come round here. You got another one there as well. Just see how far we have to go before we lift off. A little bit more. Right, straight off. Yeah, you can also leave that on as well. So if you're using it all the time, there's no need to take that on and off as well. So also, I think it actually comes with a, a protection across there as well. So you have like a guard over there to stop you getting your fingers in or any like string or anything like that. Because you don't want to be doing that, do you? So you don't want to jam it up. But it's it, that propeller, the prop is really, feels really strong. I'm not sure. It could be aluminium, that could be. It feels like aluminium, but uh, yeah, nice, nice, sleek little bit, a bit of kit there. So like I say, boost... Uh, boostsurf.com uh, if you want to know a little bit more about it oh there's also I forgot to tell you I've actually got the charging point through there as well which apparently is waterproof as well so after you've done apparently you give that a quick uh, swill round just to get any salt out there or anything that shouldn't be in there so if you want to know any more about the boost fin just go on boostfin.com and uh, just check out what they actually do there's a few videos there's a few different uh, videos showing you all about it and stuff and what actually connections you actually need for your board but uh, also give them a, uh, send them an email if you want to know any more about it uh, if it will actually fit your board as well so yeah for surfboards and paddle boards the boost fin and uh, i can't wait to get onto the water get my board out when this weather gets a lot better so thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and uh, don't forget before we go uh, please if you haven't done already hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for all my new videos that i'm going to be uploading and don't forget to give me a thumbs up so yeah i will be going out on the water soon so we'll see you in the next video and we'll see you all soon see you later